Hello, you lovely ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Mengs, uh, and I have a question for you guys. Do you remember Mengs Vance Wars? Maybe you don't if you're a new subscriber to the channel. This is a Advanced Wars 2 ROM hack that I made together with my community. And the premise was very simple. People would submit custom COs to me during my streams, chat would vote on them, and the most popular ones would be put into the ROM, until we had a full custom ROM hack of Advanced Wars 2. And that is what um, Manx Vance Wars turned into. So, all the COs in this hack, they have custom art, uh, some of them have custom themes, not all of them, but they're all unique. All of these COs are submitted by the viewers, and they have completely uh, unique day-to-days, superpowers, everything. It actually ended up, like, I gotta say, like, it actually ended up creating a lot of really fun COs. And uh, I am very happy to announce that uh, we have made a big update to Manx Vance Wars, and uh, you can get that update for yourself right now. I'll put it in the Manx Hacking Archive for you guys to get the ROM. Uh, Ephraim has worked really hard, he's fixed like maybe 50 bugs that were submitted, so the ROM is a lot more clean now, and we've added two additional COs, because there were two more slots in the ROM for COs, and we were like, why don't we just fill them up with, with custom COs, so I'm gonna show you the two COs that we added. Uh, we have also added a bunch of other stuff, which I will get to, and we'll even play one of them. So the first CO that we added is named Liberty. She's a very simple CO, but uh, she's uh, really cool, I think. She's a tank commander. Manx Vance Wars actually do not have a designated tank commander CO, so here she is. Kind of looks like a, a 60s pinup girl, really cool. Uh, the artist is called Fiery Jinx. We, uh, I commissioned a new artist to uh, draw the two COs that we picked, because our, uh, our um, artist, Katita, he was very uh, occupied with his work. So here is Liberty, a charming, energetic tank commander who is always the first to answer the Call of Duty. Hit March music, miss stalemates. Her day today is her tanks have 10% extra firepower, and they gain two extra terrain stars when within five spaces of her other tank unit. So if she chains her tanks together, she gets two extra terrain stars. It's very simple. 20, two ter terrain stars is pretty damn strong. So, uh, so, but she doesn't have any weakness. She's just a tank specialist. Her normal power is a very simple. 3 HP repair to all of her tank units, that's tanks, medium tanks, and near tanks. And she also gives them fuel back, because why the hell not. Uh, her superpower is Valkyrie Charge, all tanks gain 2 movement, and 60% firepower. So it's kind of like a mini just fire uh, superpower, uh, except that it only applies to her tanks, but it's 5 stars, so it's much cheaper. So, uh, a really, a really minimalistic design, but I think at CO that's going to be very fun to play. Uh, the second CO that we've added to Magnus Vance Wars is some, I think you guys will like him a lot. So, you know, there's there, there's a couple CO's that were submitted over and over again. We had forest CO's and indirect CO's. And we just realized that we don't have a forest CO, we don't have an indirect CO, and we don't have a snow CO. We have a rain CO, but we don't have a snow CO. Say hello to Sisu, a deadly sniper whose allegiances, motives, and facial features cannot be known. Hit your face, Miss Never. His day-to-day -day is 30% extra firepower for his indirects, 20% attack in forests, he ignores snow penalties, and every six days, it begins snowing. Every six days, so 6, 12, 18. Uh, but he has minus 20% defense for his direct units, he's very frail. His normal power is called Take Cover. Causes snow for one turn, indirects gain two movement, 10% extra defense in forests, minus one forest move cost, and units can move in mountains. Yes, this means you can put his artillery in mountains. You can, absolutely. And his superpower is called White Death. Causes snow for one turn, Indirects and mechs gain plus one range, and uh, he also gets 60% extra attack and force for all of his units. Now, I'm not going to say who this guy is based off. Let me know in the comment section if you know what historical figure this guy is based on. I'm sure there will be some of you who will know this guy. Alright, so what else have we added? Well, uh, they, every single CO in the game now has a war room map. Uh, I think it, it ended at, I think Scavenger was like our last map in the last one. I think it's, yeah. Scavenger against Deejus was like the final map of Manx Vance Wars, but you can see we've added a lot of new ones. Uh, we've added a map called Missile Swamps, a map called Nine Inch Nails for Cold Steel, Switcheroo for Joan, Devil's Playground for Spec, Tunnel Trouble for Worm, 1984 for Orwell, Air and Sea for Natalie, Thunder Hills for Tondra, uh, we have Raw River for uh, Tabby, Liberty Vale for Liberty, Snow Hunt for Sisu, 21 for Lily, and then we also have the Money Survival, the Turn Survival, the Time Survival, 
and the countdown. Uh, I think these two, Countdown, Nelsland, and Ramalas, I think they're just bonus maps that made it in. They were made, but they weren't given anything specific, so they're just here for fun now. So, as I said, you can go and get this, uh, you can go and get this, uh, ROM for yourself. If you check out the playlists, uh, I'm gonna put this in the same playlist that I have all the other videos. Uh, I think for now, I wanna test out, I wanna test out the, uh, turn survival, because, um, I haven't tried these. Ifra made them. You, you figure out a way to make them. If you don't, if you haven't played these in Dual Strike, they're a lot of fun actually. You have to beat the maps. You have to beat beat maps in sequence with a combined turn timer as quickly as you can. So I think this is a good uh, time to test out the new uh, CO Liberty. So let's give it a go, shall we? So here we go, this is the first map, and you can see we have 64 days left, but it's 64 days spread out over the entire challenge. So, the idea here is to try and clear the maps as quickly as possible. I don't know if it's possible to do this in... I don't think you can do this in one day. Not even with Liberty. She, she, she sadly only gets a 10% bonus, but should be able to do it in two days pretty easily, I'd say. So I absolutely love this concept, and I think it's so cool that Ephraim was able to recreate it in Advanced Wars 2. I, I personally played all the survival missions in uh, Dual Strike. I didn't even check what CO was going up against. It's Tundra, okay. So going up against Tundra, she's a she's an airplane specialist though. It's a bit of a weird choice for a first map here, but maybe Ephraim didn't want to make it too hard. Uh, Tundra's whole gimmick, yeah, these 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 values are a little bugged. By the way, the, the firepower and defense patch is a little glitchy, so pay no attention to that. It, it doesn't really work properly. Uh, but Tondra's bonus is that her planes have extra defense, and her fighters can attack uh, ground units, which is really interesting. But I'm pretty sure if we play it well here, it looks like we should be able to clear clear this up in two days. There we go. And yeah, sadly, Liberty does not have custom music. We just gave her the orange star theme. I felt like it fitted her. All right, there we go. So we were able to clear this map in two days. Now let's go on to the next one. All right, so this one is a bit more complicated. Who are we going up against now? Natalie. Okay, so now we're going up against the CO that actually has some bonuses. She has a good ear and naval units. A really cool CO. Her quick strike allows her to like reposition without attacking. And alpha strike is just an overall really solid superpower that gives her a bunch of boosts. But this one's a little bit more nasty because now it doesn't look like we'll be able to clear this as quickly, but um, maybe Liberty wasn't the best CO for this because I don't have that many tanks, but she doesn't have any ma major weaknesses, so I think it's fine, really. All right, let's see. We can probably do this. Yeah, this is fine. So let's just move the entire over here. Maybe an HQ cap is actually the maybe the best way to win this quickly. This actually seems pretty tough. Considering up against Natalie, she gets 15% firepower and defense on all of her air units. So she's kind of like Eagle in a way. Now, I do think you keep your CO power charge. I don't think it gets reset. So here you can see, I want to show off Liberty's terrain stars here. So if you attack like this, you can see that Liberty gets three defense stars on planes right here, which is really nice. So as long as she chains her tanks together, they're really strong. So even on roads, she will get two terrain stars. Of course, terrain stars are reduced based on your HP, so they're not as strong as two extra terrain stars, or two, or sorry, 20% extra defense, but they're still pretty good. All right, let's, uh, we need to take down all of our battle cookers. So I think that's what I'm gonna do first. So I'm just gonna attack here. Protect my Empire. I'm a little bit worried about my medium tanks, not gonna lie. I, uh... Is she gonna get her Alpha Strike? No, she's barely not gonna get her Alpha Strike. That's actually very good news for me. So I'm gonna keep my... Uh, one of my one of my artillery are gonna get pummeled for sure, but I don't think she one shots them, so it might be okay. But yeah, she shouldn't get her alpha strike this turn because she's barely short of getting it. Okay, that went pretty well. So I could probably pop my Valkyrie charge right now to get a big boost, or I could use Fortify to repair my medium tank. That's also a possibility. 
Maybe I should do that. Save my power a little bit. Let's do it. You're not taking our freedoms away. Yes, she's Liberty. She has a lot of freedom quotes. It's a, you know, it's, it's a simple power. It's a simple power. A little bit of repairs. It works. Maybe I should have focused fire at the Empire, actually. Oh, well, it's fine. She still gets the uh, standard boost, which is nice. As long as I keep her away... Ah, she's probably gonna kill my other Battlecopter now, but that's okay. I mean, the idea isn't to keep your units alive here, it's just to try and win. Alright, so here comes the Alpha Strike. It's pretty scary. You put up a good fight, but well, this is the end. So this gives her, like, 40% firepower and 20% defense to our units. It's really, it's really strong. So yeah, there goes my Battlecopter. Ugh. Maybe, maybe the HQ cap is the best way to go here. Could be. I'm gonna pop my power again. You're not taking our freedoms away. Heal up my tanks a little bit. There you go. It's a, it's a pretty good power. It's not like super broken or anything, but it's all right. Yeah, I think honestly my mistake was not focus firing the Empire immediately. Because if you focus fire the Empire, your Battlecopters have free reign to do whatever they want. So I honestly think this probably would have been a play from the start. So a little bit, takes me a little longer to beat this. I, if I played it properly, I probably could have beaten it a lot quicker. I think routing is probably what we want to do right now. Yeah, I'm gonna try and route. It's probably quicker than trying to capture. So let's see, can we do the luck damage? Yes, we can, lovely. All right, we've beaten it, what's next? So, uh, here, we're up against Rickard, uh, the guy who gets firepower from movement. Let's take a look here. Oh, he's got a bunch of indirects. Okay, this is looking pretty nasty, actually. Lots of forests here. Probably should have saved up my Valkyrie charge for this, honestly. But, there are lots of mountains. I do see the enemy has missiles, and keep in mind, we buffed missiles in the Manx Vans Wars. Uh, they have... Oh, did we? Oh, wait, I don't think we did. Oh shit, we didn't buff missiles. No, why didn't we buff missiles? Alright, let's see what Ricker decides to do. Is he just gonna be defensive? No, he charges at you. Man, this looks like a tricky map. Look at all the forests. How the... Wait, how am I supposed to charge through here? I mean, I'll need to use my Battlecopters, I think, to eliminate the rockets. This looks really tough, though. Uh, okay, I think, I definitely don't want to charge into the medium tanks here, so I think what I'm going to do, we have one, two, three, four, five, so he can attack over here. I guess bring in, bring in some artillery maybe? I'm not entirely sure how to deal with this. I'll wait and see what I can do. Alright, he does charge forward, okay, so he's moving his rockets back now, which is good for me. That means I can just attack him now. Good, AI being dumb, what else is new? I guess this means I can probably just use my tanks to weaken his tanks over here. Although this is taking some time though, so I don't know how good it is. Alright, can this, can this one shot? Not quite. But at least I'm getting my power now, which is nice. Alright, Rickard almost have his superpower. He's not so strong on pre-deployed maps, though. Rickard's superpower allows him to, to deploy units from bases and move them right away. Okay, uh, hmm. I guess we just do this. And try and line up a strong Valkyrie charge, maybe. Could work. Wait, his anti he only has a single anti though, so that means that my, my Battlecopters can just rush down here. Which should cause his rockets to... Maybe I'll just take the, the damage. I mean, I just need to win, right? Should be able to win now. Maybe taking a pounding and getting some power charge actually is the right move here. Oh, nice. This artillery didn't shoot. Ugh. Okay. Uh, right. I mean, keep in mind, we, we only need... Okay. Maybe I should just pop... I could save my Valkyrie charge for next turn, though. I think I'm gonna win this, because I've dealt with his rockets at this point, so... 
We'll see what I can pull off. Rickard is definitely gonna pop his Valkyrie charge, but he mostly has indirects left. Charge! So I think he would probably... Ugh. All right, can I route him this turn? I really don't want to pop my power. I don't think I'll be able to route him this turn even with the power. So I think I'm just going to hold it off and save it for next... Uh... I'm going to save it for the next map, I think. Yeah, there's no way. I, I, I couldn't have won this turn, even if I tried. So this is probably for the best. This allows me to pop a Valkyrie charge at the start of the next map, which I might be able to clear it quickly. We'll see. This is fun, though. I, I like... Kudos to Ephraim for adding this game mode. This is actually so cool. Alright, that's the third map beat. What are we up against now? We are up against Wolther! <laughs> he's a really funny CO. Uh, he, he's, he's good in oceans, bad in mountains. And he has, like, debuffing powers, which reduces the range of your indirect, which is kind of funny. Uh, okay, mostly an air battle. I don't know if I like that. It's not really my... It's not really my strength, but no fighters. So we can probably just charge ahead of her, I think, with our bombers. I mean, it's not like Liberty has bad bombers. She's just a tank CO. So this should be fine. Yeah, I say we just charge ahead. See how far we can go. It's a, it's a bit bad, though. Like, none of these units are tanks, literally. So my Valkyrie charge is completely useless here. Alright, charging forward with missiles. Uh, are they covering the battleships? No, they're not. So we can take out those battleships pretty easily. Or at least injure them. This is definitely gonna give him uh, give him his power. Oh shit, looks like your powers actually don't carry over. Okay. Alright. Never mind, ladies and gentlemen. Your powers do not carry over. Your powers do not carry over. I just realized this. Okay, so I guess Ephraim wasn't able to implement that bit. But, still cool though. I don't know, uh, yeah, those... Uh, yeah, those, those missiles are probably gonna die. I don't care. Alright, so there's literally no, no point in holding back your power. Alright, so bombers can take out those remaining missiles. That's fine. So, should I just... Pop my power for the boosts, then? I guess? Just pop my normal power? To get a small boost, the 10% defense? I guess it can't hurt. Alright, let's get rid of these, uh, well, actually, we need to get rid of the uh, umpire first. Like so. And then we need to get rid of this umpire right here this Battlecopter. And then we got just got to be careful about these missiles while we move in. We can take out both of them next turn pretty easily, so this shouldn't be a problem at all. Alright, here comes the superpower. I don't really think it's going to do anything. Look out below. It just, like, covering mist makes your vehicles worse, and it makes your indirects worse. But I don't really think it's going to matter much. So if we take a look at our rockets right now, yeah, look at that, look at that. It's it's a fun power, honestly. I like it, but I wouldn't I wouldn't call it very good. Let's see what else does it do? It gives you enemy vehicles. Have, okay, so it's minus vehicles, but we don't have any vehicles, so it doesn't really matter. All right, now we just have to route the remaining forces, and we should be fine. Maybe we can kill that rocket, too. That'd be nice. Let's move in. All right, let's see what happens. So we have 50 days left. So we, we have a lot. I don't know how many missions there are, but obviously the, the goal is to complete it as quickly as possible. I don't think it's because... I don't think Ephraim actually intends us to take 60 days to complete this whole thing. But it, it's like a rush to the to the finish line to see who could get the best time. And I'm guessing you're probably going to get ranked on it. 
So we're currently on a total of day 16. All right, let's move on to the next map. So who are we up against now? Oh, Pyre, all right. I, I am sorry to inform you guys, we did nerf Pyre a little bit. 30% day today instead of 40. She was a little bit too busted. Uh, so yeah, she expends fuel when she attacks. Oh, we don't have a lot of units in this one. Look at that. We do not have a lot of units. At all. Looks like we might kiss. This, these are definitely getting harder now. But we still have artillery and we still have tanks. And looks like we do have an APC with an infantry or with a mech, which leads me to believe that uh, maybe HQ cap is the way to go here. Two rockets, though. Okay, wow, she's blocking with transports. That's kind of harsh, man. Uh, okay, as long as we stay out of range, we should be okay here. She's probably going for our HQ. Uh, it looks like that's what she's doing here. So let's just bait this unit in. We probably want to send one tank back just to avoid her from capture. Like, we don't want her to capture our HQ. That's probably what she's going for. All right, here comes the- yeah, that's exactly what she's doing. Oh my goodness. That's actually super scary. What the fuck? Uh, okay. Uh, Jesus. But this- that's actually super scary. What the hell? Thank God Liberty has really OP tanks. My goodness. Uh, all right, let's do this. Gotta be careful about this. Yeah, I don't want my tank to get attacked here. Let's just see how this goes, shall we? I should have unloaded my mech, probably. Is she gonna pop her power? Not yet. I wonder if I should pop my normal power to get my tanks repaired, or if I should save up for a Valkyrie charge. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I can't reach those guys. That is actually incredibly annoying. How the hell do you get, how the hell do you get to these rockets, though? I mean, maybe, like, deploy a mech? I actually don't know how I'm going to do this. I mean, Valkyrie Charge would allow me to reach them, maybe? Sure. Let's let's try a Valkyrie Charge, maybe. Alright, let's kill this first. We don't get it, though. That's the problem. We, we just don't get it. Okay, what if I... Okay, I have an idea. So, what if I put an artillery here... And then I unload my mech right here, put a rocket here, and then charge in into their minimum range with my tank. Could have popped my power before doing this. Ah, oh, shit, she's gonna pop her global damage now. Come here, I'll make it all stop. Ah. Yeah, so she deals global damage. Oof. Oh. Oh, that's bad. However, it drains her fuel like crazy. Look, she has 10 fuel left now. Uh, okay. Um, ah. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to bring my tanks up. This is so bad. I, I her, her transport copters means that I it's gonna be really hard for me to kill her. Luckily, her tank is still in repair mode. I think what I have to do here is I'll have to pop my power to repair my tank. 45. There we go. And then I'll, I'm, I'm just gonna have to try and kill this. I have to try and chase after her. I have to try and chase after her, uh, her rocket as well. Ugh, this is actually really annoying. I have to capture her H HQ now. So I'm hoping she doesn't go for my fuck. <laughs> no! Oh, this is annoying. Oh, this is annoying. I have to kill her transports now. This is wasting so much time. Yeah, I played myself. Well played, Ephraim. Well played. I have to send my tanks back to kill her transports now. This is a clever map, I gotta say. This is a pretty cleverly designed map. And she pops her normal power, Thermite. This gives her 10% extra firepower per terrain star that her opponent has. 
Yeah, this is gonna suck a lot of turns out of me. Oh boy, I'm not a big fan of this. I'm not a big fan of this. Yeah, those transport copters were really smart, because that, that is a way of like just preventing you need to you need to HQ cap. If you don't HQ cap, you're in trouble. But we can route her next turn with our tanks, it's fine. Alright, there we go. Oh shit, we might actually not. <laughs> no! Oh no! Oh, uh, okay, alright. Next map. Alright, so who are we up against now? We're up against Motor Lord. Ah, I love this guy. He's really he's got a really cool theme. And this is these are not a lot of units, but we got bombers here, so we gotta set up the missiles properly. Question is, will he just charge into our missile range? We have two umpires, so we should should in theory be able to deal with this. At least we have tanks now, which is nice. That I do like to see. Let's bring our rockets in. This doesn't look so hard. It, it definitely looks more manageable. The last map was way worse. Oh shit, missile minimum range. Okay, this looks fairly straightforward though. We have this missile who can fire down the bomber. And then this bomber is gonna be dead now too. There we go. And then we just uh we just pile drive the Neo tank. And yeah, this this mission is like really made for liberty, honestly. Yeah, this mission was made. This particular mission right here. In fact, I think I'm just gonna pop my power to heal up my tanks. Check out these massive guns. There we go, just heal up my tanks a little bit. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know. I don't know. Did my tanks just come online again? I think that was just a visual glitch. Mud Kings. Yeah, it doesn't really have a lot of units left to do it with, but okay. So Motor Lord's gimmick is that his units... Oh no, don't you fucking do this to me, Rocket. Don't you fucking do this to me, you little Rocket. So Motor Lord's gimmick is that his units... His his units actually move on tires, so there were some planes. It's pretty funny, actually. So we gotta catch this Rocket now. Ho hope he doesn't run too far away. Okay, now he actually shot at me, that's good. Alright, we're in day 31. I wonder what our ranking is going to be for this. Probably not that great. Alright, next map. Who are we up against now? Orwell. Hi, Orwell. It doesn't really... It's not a fog match, though. So it's, he doesn't, he's not really that good. He's got some air units this time around. Uh, looks like I can just immediately kill that on players. So that's probably the way to go. Yeah, look at that. And then I can use my fighter to just murder him. I can even block with the fighter, honestly, which is kind of funny. But yeah, this time around, it looks like HQ cap is probably what we want to go for. There's a battleship here that we got to be careful about. Oh, there's even battleships down there. Yeah, HQ cap is what we got to go for here, for sure. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. 100% for sure we gotta go for the HQ cap. It's gonna take way too long to route all these naval units. Uh, that was not the unit I wanted to fire on, but okay. Uh, let's move back a little bit. Yeah, so... I guess in time, Orwell will just move all of his units away from the HQ. Which will just allow us to ninja cap them. But of course, we gotta be careful, we don't... I mean, the cruiser can, can attack us, but... We don't want the Battlecopters to destroy us. APC detected and drink overdrive. I love Orwell's quotes. They're super good. Alright, Battleship coming in here. This is getting a little scary because there's still no safe place we can really, uh... There's not that many safe places where we can actually... Oh, shit! That was not what I wanted to do. Actually, it's fine. It is fine. I just want to kill as many Battlecopters as I can here, so that I can actually go for the HQ cap. So, I think what I'm going to do now is... Go down here, maybe? And just stay out of range of this Battlecopter right here. Just go over here. These units can shell me. It's fine. 
Yeah, my rockets are gonna die now, but that's okay. The ranking doesn't really impact that. Should we just pop a Valkyrie charge? Fuck it, let's do it. They will never break our spirit. This is pretty strong offensive power. I do like the healing from Fortify from missions such as this, but it's, we should show up the Valkyrie charge as well, I think. So let's go and kill this tank. Kill this battlecopter. So her tanks become absolutely monstrous during Valkyrie Charge. And let's go for the HQ cap, like so. We might just be able to route him, actually. Maybe. I don't know what will be faster. There's there's still a cruiser there that we gotta kill, so it's gonna take a little while, I think. Yeah, definitely definitely go for the HQ cap. It's just the faster thing to do. Control Alt Delete. So Orwell's powers are mostly good in fog. He gets some extra defense when he pops them though, so he can be good outside of it as well. But okay, that's another map beaten, ladies and gentlemen. What's the next map? We are up against uh, Tondra again. She has two bombers, so we have to be careful about that. But we have a lot of air units as well. But she doesn't have any fighters, though. Which are, like, the thing that makes Tundra good, so... I think we can probably just charge in here, right? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can just charge in here. As long as we stay out of range of our Antire, we should be just fine. So I wouldn't say Liberty is the best CO for this, not by a long shot. She's still pretty good. Is this safe? Can I move over here? Just gonna make sure I check the ranges. Yeah, I can move the ne I can move my Neo tank over here. And as long as I stay out of range of the bomber, I should be just fine. I'll do this, and then this. We'll move the uh, rockets over here. Now let's see what we're able to do. Maybe we can go for the HQ camp. We'll see. All right, the bombers are coming in. Oh, oh, we're gonna have ourselves a massacre. Uh, she, her rockets are still in defense, though. That's okay. So, we use the fighters to take down. Oh, her bombers are so tough. Yeah, her bombers are ridiculously tough. They have like, I think they have like, what, 30% extra defense? Yeah, 30% extra defense. It's pretty ridiculous. So, it's, uh, it's pretty sick. We. Okay, so she has Neo tanks. I think I should probably focus fire her anti-air. That way, she won't be able to target fire my bombers, at least not to a big extent. I mean, I can lose one bomber, it's fine. Yeah, I'll I'll just focus fire her Neo tanks and I can I can lose one of my bombers, it's it's fine. Now of course, kind of annoying thing about Tondra is she's gonna get invisible bombers now. <laughs> You'll see once her once she pops her superpower. You wrote a check, your army can't cash. Her superpower literally stealths her airplanes. So you'll see now, her, her bombers will vanish now. Oh, never mind, I'm still next to them, so I can see them. But I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can attack them. So here, I don't really know if, if Valkyrie Charge is pro Ah, Valkyrie Charge is probably what I want, so I can reach the, uh, I can reach the rockets in the back. Go. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we need to we need to be smart about this. So I still think my fighters can target fire her bombers as long as they can see them. Ooh, my fighter got injured though. That's really bad. So I'm not going to be able to kill this this turn. No, I cannot. Ah, that kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. That kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. I was really hoping. Might be able to route her this turn. Looks like it's gonna be one more turn, sadly. Wait, is her is her bomber still stealth? It should un it should de stealth. That might be a bug. I'm gonna inform Ephraim about that. Point. Oh, cool. We we did it. S rank. Nice. 
all have been liberated. So that was the uh, that was the turn survival, ladies and gentlemen. I did it in 39 days. That's apparently enough to get an S rank. But there's lots more to do in this run. Uh, you can play the campaign if you want to. It's not custom, but you can. But there's still time survival and money survival and a bunch of war rooms. So let me know if you are enjoying Meng's Fans Wars. Uh, go download the hack and try it out. Thank you for Ephraim. Thank you to Ephraim for updating it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!